Welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to read data from SQL database using Python. For SQL database management system we'll be using Postgres. So let's see how can we do that. First I would like to say that I'm using Jupyter Notebook for that purpose. So uh, let's see how can we do that. First you need to install few libraries. How can you do that? You will need to go to this search bar, type cmd, open command prompt and then first would be pip install this is first library that we would need to install if i click if i press enter you will be able to see that the requirements are satisfied on my computer so i already installed this library let's install another one pip install pandas this is a library for data transformations and also this time we will be using to import our data. So let's press enter. As you can see I have also installed that library on my computer. So let's switch to the last one. Ok now let's execute the last one. and. If you do everything properly, you will have all you need installed on your computer. So, let's close this. Now, I'm currently in Jupyter Notebook. First, I would need to import those libraries that I already installed. First is pandas. Import pandas as pd. This will allow us to import pandas library. Next one is from SQL Alchemy import create engine this way we will be able to connect to PostgreSQL if I run this code I will have both of these libraries imported next I will be using create engine function that I imported here to establish a connection so let's see how can I do that I will just type create engine and I will open parentheses. Now you can follow me what I'm typing. First, we need to provide this information PostgreSQL. Then you will type two dots. And now we need to provide variable here. Here we will be providing username. So I will put these curly brackets and in front of our string I will put f. This means we will be using f string, which means that we will be able to provide a variable inside those curly brackets. So let's see how it will work. This first variable will be our username. So let's type username. Let's see the next one. Next one is two dots. Again I'm gonna open curly brackets and now it will be password. password at we will open again curly brackets and now we need to provide host again two dots now I'm gonna type 5432 you will see later why I did this and you will be able to check if it's the same on your machine the last one is slash and then open curly brackets again and then type database database now when we run this we will be able to uh, establish connection but before that we need to do one more thing let's see what we can do first as you can see here we provided these variable names here but as you can see we don't have any variables yet so we need to populate our variables with proper data so we will need to provide username equal to password equal to as you can see host host equal to and database name or database equal to so let's open these quotes it will be string values and now how can we find all these values I'm gonna now go to PostgreSQL. 
I'm going to open it. And as you can see, I already opened my table. It's basically some sales table. So I would like to read this data using Python. How can I do that? As you can see, this is my server and I also have four databases. Let me just uh, see what databases I have. As you can see, these are four databases and now this time I would like to use this AW project. So the, basically this is the database name. Now I can type that in my code. So let's go back to Jupyter and for database I'm gonna put AW project. Okay, now that's completed. Next step is to complete username. Let's see where we can find our username. I'm gonna go back to Postgres and you will have maybe Postgres equal 14, 15, it doesn't matter. You will just need to right click and then go to properties. If you go to that option, you will be able to find this connection section and then you will be able to find all important information that you need. Username, as you can see, it's Postgres. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my username variable. Now we need to provide password. Password, I already have my password created. So probably you also have. You need to provide your password that you are using to log into uh, PostgreSQL. Also for hostname, let's go back to Postgres. As you can see, host name is localhost. Let me copy this. I'm gonna paste it here. And perfect. Last thing that we would like to check is this number here. So let's see what number we have in Postgres. As you can see, port is 5432. Maybe it could be also 5433 on your side. So you just put your number that you have here. After we provide all these values, we will be able to establish a connection. Let me just insert my password. Now let's execute this cell with all this information. I already also included my password. You will provide yours. And when I click on this, I will be able to establish a connection. As you can see, we have output here. So we successfully established a connection, but I would like to save this in a variable. I'm going to call it engine. Engine equals two. And I'm, I'm going to provide all these values here. If I run this one more time, I will be able to save my, uh, this engine variable with all these information. Next, what I need to provide is basically my query. I will be able to query my data. So let's type SQL query equal to and now I need to provide basically SQL code so let's use for example select star from and now like in previous situation we had username and password and host and database variables and this time we'll be using variables also but for table and schema names so first will be schema name schema name and next one will be don't forget to put dot between those two. And next one will be table name. Table name. Okay, perfect. Now we need to put this F in front of this string. So now we are able to see our variables here. Like we did in previous case, we also need to assign some values to those variables. So let's see how can we do that. I'm going to insert new cell above. And for schema name, I'm going to provide my schema name. So let's see how it's called. If I exit this schemas for this project that I'm currently on schemas, as you can see, I'm working in this schema name. So I'm going to use this. Let's copy this one. Let's paste it here in Python schema name. And now we need to provide table name, table name. As we already saw, it's sales fact. Sales fact. When I run this code, I will be able to create my variables. Also, I will need to provide this SQL query. And now when I run this, it's successfully completed. Now we have the last step. 
Last step is to actually read our data, and for that purpose we are going to be using PD dot read SQL query. When I open this, I will need to provide two values. First is this SQL query variable, and the next one is you can probably guess this engine variable that we used to establish a connection. When I provide those two, I will just need to run this code and our data is successfully imported. Now I can assign that data frame to a variable called df and we will be able to manipulate with the data. Okay, perfect. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.